in the days of old. All right, whether you are dropped here by a hurricane, tsunami, or you are lucky to be here by a plane, all I want you to know about this is that that is my doing, and I'm your ancestor, which means you are on your ancestral channel where we let you know your history. So, wherever you are coming from, subscribe now so I won't have to bring you the same way again. Find out in my story the reason why humans are created imperfect. What was the reason for the first government? Issues with Fulani or Awusa creation myth. Yorubas believe that in the beginning there was water below and sky above where all gods live in male and female, and Olorun as the supreme being summoned Obatala and tasked him with the work of creating the heart. So Obatala took a hen, snake shell filled with sands and some seeds. He took a gold chain and descended from the sky to the earth. When he got to the earth, he couldn't land, so he brought out the snail shell and poured the sand on the water. Then he released the end on the sand, and the end started spreading the sand all about. Wherever you see the soil today are the places reached by the end. After this, Obatala sprinkled the seeds on the soil, after which trees and other parts sprang up. Obatala then landed on earth and called where he landed Ileife. Ileife, this is where the Yorubas believe that life started. Because soon after Obatala landed, he started molding humans. As he was molding them, he was drinking palm wine. And he did this till he finished creating them. He then asked Olorun to beat life into his moldings. Obatala slept and when he woke up the following day, he saw how horrible and imperfect his creatures was, so he swore never to drink again. Yorubas believe that this story explains why human beings make mistakes. The Igbos believe that for a very long time, the gods lived in heaven, and heaven was a peaceful place. All these gods and goddesses were individualistic, and soon, rivalry and jealousy came between them, and because of this, Chineke the supreme god and the creator of the universe decided to create a domain for every one of them. Chineke created the earth for Igwe and Allah. Igwe and Allah created four males and four females from sticks, clay and chalk. They also taught them everything about Chineke, trading and social existence. Chineke then created and gave them a spirit each who has its own personal destiny and they called it Persons Chi. These people then multiplied and became the Igbo nation. Their children were greedy and corrupt, but that doesn't affect the first creations because they were too pure to be corrupt. So in order to restore order, they formed the first government and made their children to perform rituals to restore purity in the society. After they left the earth, they became messengers between gods and people. The Aousa of Fulani creation myth they believe that in the beginning, oh, sorry. I'm very sure the northern parts of Nigeria had their own creation myth. But during the 11th century, Islam was introduced into the northern parts of Nigeria. And, you know, that was a very long time. So gradually, their culture was eroded and replaced with that of Islam. Sometimes next month, I'm going to make a video on how Islam came into different parts of Nigeria till today. And you know what? I won't tell you to subscribe because I know if you like this video, you will surely want to see more. But at least, please, please help me share this video on your Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter. So if you've done that, let me know in the comments box. I will appreciate by giving you this. I have my way of doing it. <laughs>